What is up guys, Mongo here, and this is just a really quick video about the patch notes and what's coming to uh, to Black Ops. You're not going to want to miss it, it's pretty cool. So, let's uh, go and jump into the patch notes. Uh, there was a patch this morning. It fixed a whole bunch of uh, multiplayer issues and stuff like that. Just uh, minor glitches, like the trophy system glitch where you throw it and somebody hacks it and then you shoot it and you get like unlimited points and all that stuff. It fixed that. And a whole bunch of other uh, minor ones that a lot of people you know, might not have even seen before, so, uh, yeah, let's go and jump into the spawn system improvements. There's more spawn points on Hijacked for Demolition and Kill Confirmed, which, uh, I think is much needed, because Demolition, uh, it was way too easy to spawn trap on there, and you'd get into games all the time, and you'd be spawn trapped, and it's just, it sucked. So, they did that, and then they adjusted the spawn influencers on Standoff, uh, for improved spawn picking. Um, algorithms in, in all game nodes. So basically what this is, is uh, like for instance you're playing standoff and you've got a guy uh, back by grandma's house which is the uh, two-story on next to one of the spawns um, and you started spawning in tractor and they started popping out and killing you and they could watch you spawn and it was really bad so they're adjusting that to where you will spawn maybe gas station or somewhere else so that uh, you don't get hit that hard. So. Um, the SMGs were nerfed, MSMC and PDW, both recoil was increased and hipfire accuracy slightly reduced. The Cap 40s were, uh, were nerfed as well, same thing there, uh, dual wield damage reduced and dual wield hipfire accuracy has been reduced. The MMS um, now has cold blooded, it renders the enemies almost completely invisible, but not fully. I uh, tried this out, you still can see them just a little bit. Uh, the hammer and the QBB LSW LMGs uh, were both buffed, and assault rifles, the foul was select fire only, um, damage is reduced when you were firing full auto, and same with the SMR. The Type 25, however, they uh, buffed and put uh, speed increase and medium range damage increase, which I didn't think needed. That Type 25 feels like an SMG in my hand, so um, the SCAR was buffed and the SWAT 556 as well. Um, one of the shotguns, the M1216, medium range damage increased, and the Ballista Sniper Rifle, uh, the Iron Sight only, the Idle Sway, is reduced. Um, and then there's some zombie stuff, and I'll link that stuff if you guys want to uh, read everything about it. Now, what's coming new? This is the good stuff right here. Okay, so all of these are going to be paid for, which is really unfortunate, but, you know, they've got to make their money. They're putting in uh, a lot of work, so I can understand it. <clears throat> so here we go, personalization packs. These allow you to dress up your favorite weapon however you want to. Each pack that you purchase for, I think it's 160 Microsoft points, will come with its own calling card, its own gun camo, three different reticles, and uh, and that's it. So they have a bunch of new camos, I'll get into that in a second as well. Extra slot pack, you can purchase this for 160 Microsoft points. This will get you 10 more creative classes, which I love because 10 just doesn't seem enough to me. Um, and, exp and expands your storage to allow 20 more emblems, 32 more films, and 40 more screenshots. I don't use that many slots on those, so that's not a big one to me. They now have uh, flags for all the world calling card packs. None of these are out yet, by the way. This is in the future, so don't go looking around for it. Nuke Nuketown 2025 will now be uh, available for free, um, which is kind of crappy because a lot of us paid for it, and that just sucks. Um, and Nuketown Zombies... Uh, can be purchased as well. So, the new camos, right? These are pretty cool, so let's take a look at these. They've got one called Jungle Warfare, which, you know, it looks like any jungle gun, you know, something from uh, Vietnam era BDU type, or, you know, their battle dress uniform, whatever they would wear. Um, then they have one called Benjamins, which is just like a bunch of cash, you know, $100 bills, which I think is really cool. Uh, one called Dia de Muertos, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, looks like a bunch of, like, I don't know, festive Halloween type colors. Um, graffiti, which name says it all. Uh, something called Kawaii, which looks like a little, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, uh, panda or something. Um, one called Party Rock, which is like a, I don't know, kind of looks like a cheetah, like a purple cheetah type color. And then zombies with a bunch of little zombies on it. Viper, looks like the snake skin. And, uh, and the coolest one, I think, is the uh, bacon. So you can now uh, you can now actually dress your gun up to look like it's got bacon all over it. So, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there will enjoy that. I will be purchasing that one for sure. And then there's a bunch of new reticle targets. Um, it's got a bunch of the old ones in here, but it's got some new ones like uh, 
uh, a CD, a purse, um, a bacon strip. Um, I don't know what else. What else do I see on here? Um, like a a camera or something. A little star, headphones. Another star. What is that all about? Um, like a shooting star or something. Like a pig. I don't know. Anyway, I'll link all of that stuff uh, down below if you guys want to actually check out each of the reticles and the uh, the uh, what do you call it camos. Uh, they'll all be down in the description if you want to see it yourself. Um, a lot of good stuff coming. It does, does not say, I have not been able to find out yet when it's coming out, um, but it's coming out soon. I know uh, David Vonderhaar put something on the Treyarch channel that uh, was talking about it, so that's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, go ahead and take a look at the uh, videos on the left is the previous slums video. You know, it'll start the whole series if you guys missed that. I'm breaking down slums completely, and on the right... Uh, will be a random video because there's not really a second one in this series. But uh, go ahead and go check out the uh, Slums one, especially if you guys haven't been following that. I'm completely breaking down every aspect of it. Um, you know, everything from callouts to spawn traps to, you know, gun classes and stuff that are good for the ranges, which I'm kind of iffy about. But anyway, check them out. That's all I got. Uh, and uh, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want. Tell me if you're excited about this bacon camo because I am. I love bacon. <laughs> all right, Mongo out.